of the most atmospheric stadiums anywhere in Europe, certainly living up to its reputation pre-match tonight. And now get on at some stage tonight, the Armenian. Any chance here to get the ball into the box, oh it's a brilliant goal! Sensational from Musa so. A real stunner, both in terms of its execution and its timing, because Manchester United are behind within 90 seconds, and what a wonderful goal. That's why he's been brought back into the team tonight. David De Gea can't believe it. Clearly onside, he timed his run well, but nobody, I don't think, certainly not those in the Manchester United defence or the goalkeeper De Gea were expecting that. Absolutely brilliant. Ball in by Ali Kadiram. Audacious to even attempt it. Still need a little bit of fortune when going for something like that, but the reaction. Pogba. More advanced role tonight. Rashford trying to turn. He was able to turn and get the shot away, but it wasn't one that caused. In his second appearance of the group stage after injury. Such a deeper one. It was actually a free header, which they perhaps should have made more of. And top out. Had the time to steady himself and do rather better with that. Inadvertent touch from uh, Snyder for the uh, former Ajax man. Martial that just stood off him for a moment. It's a good ball for Rooney. Better bets who were desperate for the offside flag. Rooney's touch was hesitant as if he was expecting it as well. It's an excellent ball that found him in space and gave uh, Skirtle a scare. It's very tight, but I think just onside. The touch took him back into trouble and uh, afforded Skirtle the opportunity to clear it away. There's Pogba. He took it on early and didn't really connect with any conviction or venom. Comfortable for Volker. So Pogba generally has played whatever the competition so far. It's in towards Jeremy Lenz and it was a half chance for him. Couldn't guide the header goalwards. But the Manchester United defence just seemed to stand still as that ball came towards him. The hair not required in the end. It was over Musa, so he got there first ahead of Luke Shaw. Led by Ali Kadiram. Helped wide by uh, Sousa. Now they do have uh, men in the middle. Yaramen Lenz went for the spectacular. And he wasn't quite as uh, effective of a chance when it came to him. There might be one for Manchester United here though. Ibrahimovic touching it wide. And Rashford's been forced wider than he would have liked. But might still be able to uh, capitalise. In towards Ibrahimovic. Important touch from Volkan Demerup. The goalkeeper just got there first. So you would deny Ibrahimovic what would have been a tap-in. Cut out the cross from Marcus Rashford. And there's Sousa with uh, time to assess his options. Alpha Potut will swing it in, looking for Musa So. Got his head to it this time, he couldn't control the finish. Difficult chance anyway, but they all look uh, relatively more comfortable compared to the one that he did convert. And that overhead kick right at the start. Not from Schneiderling, going to have to make way at the interval. What have Manchester United got from here? They're going to prevent Penabacher from uh, moving. Support from uh, Martial. Stint on the right flank didn't last too long. Cutting it onto that right foot again. Rooney with the flick. And it misses both the target and Ibrahimovic's far post. In the context of what we've seen so far, it's as close as Manchester United have been for a while. Just the merest of glances from Rooney. Couldn't really get proper contact on the cross from Marcia. Wash the forehead. Concern now as it falls at the feet of Mata. There's Martial. Turned on the pace to get to the byline and deliver the cross. Back it comes for Mata. Didn't catch it quite as cleanly as he would have hoped. It was still threatening. And for a moment, Volkan Demaril. Would have been fearing the worst. Only for a split second, really, though. 
stamped it into the ground more than anything matter. And then Lenz is the other player still involved. We've whittled it down to two contenders to take. It will be Jeremy Lenz. Oh, it's absolutely sensational. De Gea caught out again. As Fenerbahce double their lead with a brilliant free kick. Well, we've seen two goals of real quality from the Turkish team tonight. Which looks set to take them above Manchester United in the group. They weren't expecting this around the wall over Martial, perfectly placed. De Gea did not move. Completely deceived again. A bit more space for Mehmet Topal to try and spark the counter-attack. Yaromen Lenz, good ball, early chance for the Sabacini. Just take the touch too many, Emenike. Timed his run brilliantly to stay on side. Daily Blind it was trying to get back to him. In the end, De Gea was able to come and clear. Just wasn't able to uh, get it out from under his feet quickly enough. After Manike might have made it worse already. He might still do so again here. And Manike, and this time uh, De Gea does make the save. But aside from uh, the two efforts that have and Demerol winning the mind games with uh, Zlatan. Did have the option of playing in Alpha Pocic Kemenike a moment ago, but went for Kemenike. There remains an ever-present threat really on the uh, counter-attack. And at top out with the, uh, the ball forward, Jeremy Lenz. Kemenike can't quite get there. Agonising for him as he flung out a foot at the far post. Fraction away from uh, putting the issue beyond doubt. Oh, so close. Jeremy Lenz. Jeremy Lenz looking for the uh, of Musa So. Herr had committed himself early, did well to get there actually, and then just about. That will certainly be the case. And they don't have long to change that. Martial will have a go. Ambitious attempts. Falcon Demerol knew. It was uh, not going to extend it. The demands of the English game felt the Manchester derby and his poor performance in that match showed just why. Here's uh, Rooney to have a hit. Oh, how about that for a finish? They do have some hope. And Wayne Rooney has an incredible goal. Out of absolutely nothing. Now is there time? Rooney had the time to uh, take a touch. It was all that he needed. Volkan Demerol given very little chance by this. Oh. To try and take the corner as quickly as possible. Came off uh, Senna Uzbe Arakli. Matter urging everybody forward to try and meet his delivery. Rooney will go up for it. Rooney's got his head to it. And a combination of uh, goalkeeper and defender kept it out on the post in the end. He did well to generate that sort of power from that sort of range. Particularly given there wasn't an awful lot of pace on the ball. There's more on this one from Mata. Martial going up for it. Ibrahimovic has got a foot to it. Herrera to drive it in. Claims it's blocked. He's claiming it's blocked by the hand. Furious break. Make sure he holds on to it for as long as possible. Let's see just how close this was. That was Rooney's header. Volkan Demerol was at full stretch. And Pierre Ishmael Kyobiasi was uh, well placed and then the penalty shout may be struck at Skirtle by Herrera. The arms were tucked in down by the side, that would have been harsh in the extreme. But certainly at this stage you can uh, wholly understand the process that followed. And this is the goal that has uh, set up this fascinating finale. So sweetly struck from Wayne Rooney. His first goal in uh, everybody bar De Gea is uh, forward for this one. And it goes towards Ibrahimovic. Fenerbahce have defended it and they've done enough for the victory. Which looked to be heading their way for much of the night. Until they ended it hanging on desperately.
really spectacular late strike ultimately not enough and proving only a mere footnote in the contest two outstanding goals from the home side doing the damage Rooney had the final say but not enough of a say as he joins Van Nistelrooy at the top of their European scoring charts closes in further on to Bobby Charlton but ultimately it counts for nothing on the night as Fenerbahce move above Manchester United in this group that super strike from uh, Musa So in just the second minute was added to by a supply that Yeromain Lenz set piece just before the hour and very nearly created a third as well they look to be cruising to a comfortable victory in the end they hang on for a big three points Manchester United slip out of the top two in the group with only two games to go full time in Istanbul Fenerbahce two Manchester United one